Hey, what's up guys? I'm B from Tactical Baby Gear, and today we're gonna take a look at the Nuna Exec car seat. Now, full disclosure, we do have a relationship with Nuna, but they have not asked us to make this video. They don't know we're making this video, and we bought this with our own money, and all of these thoughts and the opinions are my own. So let's open it up and take a look at it. This is the best, most satisfying part of the whole experience. All right. And we know, Travis, from previous unboxings of Nuna products, that they're gonna have some inspirational quote on this thing in here. So let's see what this says. Exec class travel. Not quite the uh, inspirational one I, I uh, was anticipating, but nonetheless, they put something cool there. Um, let's just pull this whole thing out of, out of here. Now, this comes in at, what does that say? Travis is gonna help fact check me. 27 pounds? 26.6. 26 26.6 26 pounds. It's got a little heft to it, but this is meant to be permanently installed in the car. I say permanently. I mean, it's semi-permanent. It's not like your traditional bucket seat where you're picking it up and taking it out and it's got a quick release base and a handle and all that. This is meant to go into the car and stay in the car. So weight is less important here. In fact, a heavier seat is likely more safe anyways. So let's take a look. Let's see what we got here. This is a cool feature I've seen in a few of their other seats, first and foremost, since I got my hand on it. Instead of having to move things uh, manually and, and pull things in and out of uh, seat belt holes, I think this is all, you, you pull this little handle, we'll verify this in a second, yeah, and it can go all the way up, and that is going to automatically adjust the seat belts up and down as the child grows, and you're not trying to unweave those seat belts and put them through the next set of holes, which we, well, maybe we don't all know. If you don't know, that's the case, and it's a real annoying process in a lot of other situations and other car seats. Um, so the fact that this has all these points and the seat belt automatically adjust, that's incredible. Now the reason I have this seat here in front of me is because my daughter is now 18 months old. She's starting to outgrow that you know infant bucket sort of seat and she's in daycare now, so my wife and I were passing off the car seat in the middle of the day and all this kind of crazy stuff. So it was like, okay, we, we need to now get two seats in both of our cars so we're not playing this passing off the car seat game. So I bought the exec, I also bought the Rava so that we could look at both of them and help you guys make some decisions uh, while we are in that phase as well. So anyways, you've got this infant insert here. This is the head support, it just unsnaps. This is really soft. This is all made out of a, a wool fabric. What is it, Mar Merlin? Merino. Merino wool, which they, they say is the world's finest wool. So um, it's soft. Is it overly soft and absolutely crazy? No, it's just soft, it feels nice. Uh, seat belts, kind of as you would expect, couple of little release buttons here. I should probably get this out of your way so you can see what's going on, huh, Trav? So this is the calf support. It's got quite a few adjustments from what I saw. There's some buttons here. This, is, this goes up. Bear with me. There's a lot to know about this seat. So let's figure out how it works. There's a button here on the side. If you push it down, this is gonna change the position. This seat is compatible with children from five pounds to 120 pounds, is that right? Yeah. So from five to 120 pounds, meaning you could have an infant newborn with this in here, have them reclined in this position, rear facing, so the back of the car is that way and your driver's seat is in front of this. And you could have them in this position, which means this has to go up because it's gonna be against the back, the back rest of the back seat. As they get older, and this is obviously adjustable, so depending on the position of uh, the seat in your car and getting them in an, an ideal uh, position, you can adjust that. And then as they get older, you can turn this seat around, you can sit it more upright, and then you can let this down to various angles as they need it. But then, let's see how to do this. It comes out as well, did you guys see that? Check this out. It goes in and out as well as up and down this way. So it, it really 
grows with the kid and then again with this as well right so it's pretty slick and you know depending on your use cases and how you might be using a car seat you could just buy this seat and not have to buy an infant seat and then this sort of convertible seat and then a booster seat because this can also be a booster seat so when this is all the way up like this there's a little slot here i don't know travis can you see this probably not well yeah you can yep. so there's these when this is all the way up there's these little like gates here that the seat belt can go through and then you can stash the five point harness can stash back here behind all of this and this is now turned into a booster seat for your six seven eight year old up to 120 pounds so really cool really practical literally the you could buy one seat and cover all your bases so that's a pretty pretty awesome deal let's take a look at the rest of this here's another cool thing on the in this infant insert they have like a super infant insert and that's this little cushion that goes in behind their butt to really help uh, with the little little babies and as they get older you can take this out and then just put this other insert in and as they get older take that insert out as well but all this stuff sort of goes together jonathan from nuna did tell us that at about 11 pounds this stuff needs to come out you can leave the head support in here for additional comfort until it sort of doesn't seem necessary but at 11 pounds this stuff should be coming out let's see what's in the bag what's in the bag is it a bag of cash that'd be cool probably not so this is a whole nother set of inserts that is like a dye free or organic uh, materials if they have any type of allergy issues or concerns uh, like that with skin conditions they have a whole nother set of uh, inserts here if that is in the position that you're in so that's great all the way down to the seat belt pads and everything so kudos to nuna for providing that stuff oh and this is actually a separate item this is a handy dandy uh, footrest cover it's for those dang kids with dirty feet that's why we can't have nice things you know what i'm saying anyways this goes over here so they can make a mess of this and this is a much easier thing to pull out and wash so that's a really cool feature that i don't know i've seen in any other car seats off the top of my head uh, speaking of washing i mentioned that you could be one and done with this seat and this could be the one and only seat you buy for your your car all of this stuff is going to be removable and washable so you know if they spill things in it crumbs um, they have blowouts of the diaper and all that kind of stuff these seat cushions are almost always yeah completely removable so there's just you'll just pull this off you'll have to probably get it out of the seat belts and things like that but it is removable and you can wash it i like the black colors for that reason my other car seat is a lighter gray and you see everything with it it always looks dirty even though it's not as dirty as it looks but the light colors definitely show a lot of that dirt and grime and stains whereas black really hides it really well so we opted for black on this go around now looking at it on the table is great and everything and talking about the specs but let's see how it actually works in the car so here's how the footrest is used in a practical application you're going to put that up we'll press this recline button it's going to tip this guy back into our rear facing position where it's going to sit just like this and this is how the baby should remain in the rear facing position until they are at least two years old so then we're going to take we're going to undo these seat belts we're going to flip these pads up and oh this is a cool feature let me also mention this before I get to this feature. Everything on here is color coded, I've, I've noticed. So everything that has to do with rear facing is gonna be blue, and you can see that on the side of this here. Everything that is forward facing is indicated with a red color, and then everything in a booster position is in this purple color. So the seat belt locations are color coordinated, blue, purple, and red, so that you know how where to buckle those things in depending on the position they're in. So. Anyways, you flip up these super secret cool 
uh, cup holders. This is like a silicone cup holder that pops out of the side on both sides, but that's also sort of the access through point for the seat belt to buckle this in. So let's run this seat belt through here and get these cushions and pads out of the way. You want to open this little secret door first. I don't know what else to call it, but secret door. So that's what I'm going to call it. Hope you guys are cool with that. We'll run the seat belt underneath the door and then back out the other side. Okay, now once you get that in place, you don't need to pull this thing super snug because when you close this door, it's gonna take up a good bit of that slack. So make sure everything's clear of the door, snap it down in place. And this guy is in here pretty good. And then you can set your cushions back in place, get the seat belts in the correct positions, and you're good to go. Impressions. It feels good, it feels secure. It's a really neat system. It took a minute to understand it, figure it out, and get that stuff going. I'm a big fan of this um, little foot pad here that it flips up and that isn't just missing altogether like I think many are. Uh, keeps their feet off of your seats and that sort of thing. And if you're a stickler for like, you're keeping your car clean like I am, that's a big deal. They claim that you can put three of these side by side in most you know sort of mid-size vehicles for reference this is a 2001 lexus lx 470 the seat is 18 and a half inches wide i'll have to try to test it but i think you could put three of these in here um, with the cup holders open is maybe questionable they do close so yeah you could probably get three of these in here Okay, so real quick disclaimer, this is not meant to be an installation guide or anything, just to kind of give you guys an idea of what the installation process might look like and give you some idea of how to use it. You will have to fiddle with the tension of the seat belt and some of those things to make sure that this feels nice and tight and secure and safe, but please read all of the instructions and directions. Uh, and if you have any questions or concerns, you can always visit your local fire department and they will help you install a car seat. Now let's take this thing, let's flip it around and put it in the other positions. Let's see what that takes, let's see how it fits and let's see what we think about it. All right, once we get that guy unbuckled, we can spin it around. This thing looks like a crazy spaceship. We'll put it back into more of an upright position like this. Oh, let's take uh, the rear anchor point. Let's take this rear anchor point, let's go ahead and loosen this guy up. We're gonna throw it through the headrest so that it's behind the seat. Let's get that guy in position. We'll take the calf rest here. We'll go ahead and put that down. We'll likely have to move this up because now our baby's a little bit bigger probably. And again, now that we're in the forward facing position, we're gonna use the red seat belt guys. Pull the pads up, open the little door, feed the seat belt through. Buckle it in, close the door. Okay, let's secure this rear anchor point. Once you got everything secure, you feel good about it, you can put the cushions back in place, get the seat belts back squared away, and you're ready to rock and roll. I'm impressed so far. I, let's talk about a few things for a second. The features and specs, again, kind of going, the difference between the features and the specs and sort of a real world scenario is, you know, they claim that it's made of the world's finest wool of, and all those types of things. And I really think that that's just those insert cushions for infants and newborns because the rest of this feels more like a neoprene um, and maybe even a polyester or a cotton, but it's certainly not as soft as like the world's finest wool. Um, is it soft enough? Sure. Is it going to scratch and harm your kid? Absolutely not. But I wouldn't, I in my mind expected this entire thing to be like this super soft plush wool thing, more similar to their bucket seats, which are very, very soft, um, but I don't get that feeling. So I don't know exactly what this material is, but it doesn't feel like wool to me. Just a heads up on that. Uh, cool, that thing's nice and secure in that position. Let's check out the toddler booster seat position, which really isn't much different from this. And then we'll wrap it up with some final thoughts. So what's cool about uh, their system is that they give you storage compartments for all of the harnesses uh, to sort of semi-permanently store them inside of the seat and they're not being completely removed, which I've seen before and then I've lost them. And then you're definitely not going back to using a seat like this 
because you don't have the proper harnesses. Um, so then, you know, you've got your older child who's capable of buckling themselves in. You've got this little gateway here at the top for the seat belt to go through. And then with the adjustment of the headrest, that's gonna keep the seat belt at a proper position above their shoulder. And then they can take and buckle this in just like a normal seat belt. And now they're using the seat belt in the vehicle to keep them in the seat nice and safe, just like that. Let's go back into the studio and talk about the rest of it. Okay, so what do I like and what do I don't like about this seat? Uh, first thing I really am a big fan of with this seat is the longevity. The fact that you can go from that infant size, five, year, uh, five pounds all the way up to 120 pounds is a, is a big deal. It's a buy once, cry once type of scenario. My uh, oldest daughter is 11 years old and she's like 90 something pounds for reference. And she certainly does not need to be sitting in a seat like this at this point. So there, there is a long life to this seat. Big fan of that. The other thing I like about this seat is the quality. It is very, very nice, very premium. Everything feels very nice. There's no sort of questioning, sort of the build quality. You know, there's very solid engagement of things and you have a lot of confidence putting your child in the seat. So I'm a big fan of that. Uh, one of the downsides, like kind of as I referenced before, is the price point, $750 for a car seat. It is a lot of money to spend on a seat. But with my experience and some of the products that we sell, I can tell you firsthand that you get what you pay for. So keep that in mind. Um, the other thing that I think is, let's say questionable, is you know, Nuna's claim that you can fit three of these across the back seat of a car. Um, I think you probably can, and knowing Nuna, they wouldn't make that claim if it wasn't possible, and there might be a particular configuration you have to do to be able to get three. So I don't know if you could get three of these facing all in the same direction, particularly if you had them uh, rear facing because you do have to open those cup holders to get the seat belts through. And if you were you know, lay, stacking these across one another and trying to open that to get a seat belt through, I think you're gonna have quite a hard time. So if you had one facing, you know, they were facing opposite directions or they're all facing forward, I think you could do that, but um, it's likely a tight fit. I can't speak to it specifically, but that's the only thing I think is questionable. Anyways, if you guys wanna see more videos just like this, reviews, comparisons, uh, unboxings, all that kind of stuff, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.